Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss polynomials algebraic identities. In previous sessions, we discussed reminder theorem and factor theorem. Please refer to the following link to get complete videos of the channel. In this session, we will discuss algebraic identities which you have studied in your lower grades. Let us see what is an identity. It is an equality which is true for all values of the variable. Let us have a recap of identities which you have studied in your lower grades. First identity is, I hope that you are very much familiar with this, that is a plus b whole square is a square plus 2ab plus b square. And the second identity is a minus b whole square is equals to a square minus 2ab plus b square. Third one, a plus b into a minus b is a square minus b square, right? And x plus a into x plus b is x square plus a plus b into x plus ab. I hope that you are able to recollect these identities. Next comes the question, what is the use of identities? Identities are useful in simplifying, evaluating and factorizing algebraic expressions. Now let us solve some questions based on these identities. Let us solve question number 1. Find the product using suitable identity. If you want to calculate the product of these two terms, in order to get the product, we multiply first term with all the terms in the second term term right so instead of that we use the identity i hope that you are able to recollect identity that is x plus a into x plus b which is x square plus a plus b into x plus ab right in place of x we have 3x and in place of a it is 4 so let us write that x is 3x a is equals to 4 and b is minus 5 let us apply in the identity. So it will be 3x whole square plus a plus b that is 4 minus 5 into 3x plus a b that is 4 into minus 5. So this will be 9x square minus 3x minus 20. This is a product of given two terms, right? Let us solve question number 2 which is based on another identity. Evaluate using identity 0.54 into 0.54 minus 0.46 into 0.46. So this we can write it as 0.54 whole square. Right? 0.54 into 0.54 minus 0.46 whole square which is in the form of a square minus b square which is equals to a plus b into a minus b right so let us substitute the values here a is 0.54 and b is 0.46 so this will be equals to 0.54 plus 0.46 into 0.54 minus 0.46 6. So, which is 0.54 plus 0.46 is 1 and this is 0 0.08. So, it will be 0 0.08, right? Let's solve third question. Factor is the following using proper identity. As said earlier, identities are useful to factorize algebraic expressions as well. So, let us factorize the given algebraic expression using identities. So, it is 9x square plus 6xy plus y square. If you observe here, this is 9x square. So, 9 is a perfect square. So, we can write it as 3 square, right? So, let us write it. So, it will be 3x whole square, right? Which is nothing but 3 square is 9 and it is x square. So, we will get 9x square, right? Plus 6xy which we can write it as 2 into 3x into y, right? And y square, we can write it as y whole square, right? Now, 
is it in the form of identity a square plus 2 into a into b plus b square right here a is nothing but 3x a square that is 3x whole square plus 2 into a b a is nothing but 3x and b is y b square is nothing but y square as we know that this is equals to a plus b whole square right so based on this identity this question we can write it as in place of a we have 3x and in place of b we have y so let us write that so it will be 3x plus y whole square right therefore the factors for 9x square plus 6xy plus y square is equals to 3x plus y whole square right let's look into next question based on different identity question number four evaluate using identity 97 square instead of uh, doing direct multiplication we can solve this question by using identity that is 97 square as we know that 97 we can write it as 100 minus 3 whole square right it is in the form of a minus b whole square which is equals to a square minus 2ab plus b square here a is 100 b is equals to 3 let us substitute the values 100 square minus 2 into 100 into 3 plus 3 square which is equals to here 100 into 100 minus it's 600 plus 9 so which is equals to 10,009 minus 600 which is equals to 9409 right in next session we'll discuss identity for the square of a trinomial Please feel free to provide your questions or comments in comment section. Thank you for listening and have a nice day.